Hey guys, as you can see, I am not in my usual place where I film my intro and outros. I just decided to try and switch it up a little bit because I don't know. I didn't really like the lighting. 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 I keep saying that. I keep saying that word wrong. Sorry. So. Today's video is going to be a beginner's warm-up routine and about two months ago, I think, I have made a warm-up routine, my warm-up routine for gymnastics. And ever since then, I've been thinking about doing a warm-up routine for beginners. But the thing is that I make, I have pre-filmed loads, loads of videos, so I haven't really got a chance to kind of film that video because I was busy with school and gymnastics and stuff like that. And I have a competition coming up soon, although this video might be up after the competition, I'm not very sure. So this is a beginner's warm-up routine and I tried to include some simple exercises for beginners. Warm-ups are very important so that you don't injure yourself. So let's just get into the video and see what exercises I will be showing you for the warm-up for beginners. So we're gonna start off by warming up our feet and I'm gonna do 10 circles with my ankle to the outside and then to the inside and then I'm gonna change my foot. Try to go over your toes like this. Now we're gonna go up and down on our tiptoes and I'm gonna do that 10 times. When you do it, make sure that your heels are together, so that they're not far apart like this. Now we're gonna do it one by one. So you're going to go on your tiptoes, leave one foot in demi point, and then lower the other foot down. I'm gonna do that 10 times. Now you're gonna sit down like this, and if you want, you can keep your hands either in front or behind you, but it's important to keep a straight back. Again, make sure that your heels and knees are together. Now you can open your knees to the side. I like to challenge myself by lifting my hands off the ground and to see for how long I can hold it for. Now straighten your feet in front of you, keeping a flat back and you're going to point and flex your toes 10 times. Make sure to work through your toes. And now we're gonna do it one by one. As you can see how I'm working with my toes, make sure not to go fast like this, but that you're going to your toes. Now we're gonna do circles again. So start by flexing your feet and then open into first position and then close your feet by pointing your toes and repeat that four times. And now change, we're gonna do it inside. So point your toes, open your feet to first position, and then flex your toes and point your toes again. And I'm going to do that four times. Now lift your hands up, and it's very important to keep your back straight for this exercise. So you're gonna try and reach your toes while keeping a straight back. Now you can also try this exercise with flexed feet. You can also try to reach your heels. Now to warm up our shoulders, we're going to do 10 circles backwards and then 10 circles forwards and then you're going to change your hand. And now do it together with both hands, backwards and then forwards. Okay, so this next exercise, don't do it, but I've gotten comments on saying if I could do this, and yes, I can do this. If I understood your comment correctly, I can twist my hands over by holding two fingers. So yeah. So moving on to the next exercise, open your feet apart and your hands to the side and you're gonna just cross over so your right hand to your left leg and your left hand to your right leg and it's very important to keep a straight back here as well. As you can see here I'm keeping a straight back and you're gonna do this 10 times. Now we're gonna do butterfly, it doesn't matter if your knees are up this high or this high, 
you're just going to push your knees down like this just by moving your knees up and down like a butterfly and you can also gently push your knees down and hold it for just as long as you can relax and then repeat it again and you can also reach down forward if you can now we are going to do kicks with our right leg make sure that both of your legs are straight and I'm going to do 10 kicks. And now pulse your leg 10 times. Again, make sure that your leg is straight. And now try to catch your leg. But if you can't catch your leg, bend your leg first and then slowly extend it by holding your ankle or your leg. Extend it slowly. And even if it's just this much that you can do, it's totally fine. Just If you can't do it, just keep on pulsing your leg. And now we're going to do the same thing but sideways so you're gonna do 10 kicks sideways and then you're gonna pulse for 10 times and then if you can you can try and catch your leg but if you're gonna do it make sure that you catch it properly so hold it from the inside like this with your palm do not twist your hand or do it from the outside do it from the inside like this so you're doing it correctly and then change your leg Now we're going to do lunges and make sure that your knee is not over your toes but it's in one straight line and you can also lift your leg up like this on the knee point and stretch that way for 10 counts. And now straighten your front leg, make sure that you don't sit on your back leg like this but sit up and lean down forward as much as you can. And it doesn't matter how far down you can go, just lean down forward while keeping a straight leg because that is the whole point of the exercise. If you bend your leg, it's not going to help. And now stretch into your splits. If you can't do your splits, I have a splits video on that, so you can go and check that out. But when you are doing your splits, make sure that you don't bend your front leg. Try to keep it straight and also, if possible, try to straighten your back leg as well. And then do your left leg as well. Now we're gonna do frog and when you do the frog make sure that your butt is not too back and not too forward. Make sure it's just in one straight line. Oh and also don't worry if your frog looks like this. It's also better if you go down on your elbows to stretch. Now we are going to do a sideways lunge. Again make sure that your knee is not over your toes but it's in one straight line. Hold it and then change your leg. Now open your legs to the side, don't do the middle splits yet, just open your legs to the side, for example if this is how much you can open them, it's fine, just stretch to one side, hold it there for 10 counts, then stretch to the other side and then lie down in front, and if you can't do it, just bend one leg and then stretch to one side, and hold it there for as long as you can, and then change your leg. Also when you do this exercise, make sure not to slouch down. Now lie down on your back and lift your legs up and you're going to do these kicks sideways and this will really help with your middle split. You're going to do 10 and then hold your legs down. So now we're going to do the middle split and if you don't know how to do the middle split I have a whole other video on that so be sure to check it out. So now we're going to warm up our back, so sitting on your knees, we're going to do waves and you're going to go down with your chest, shoulders and then your head and then come up. I can't really explain this very well but I hope that you can understand by watching this. So I'll do four and then I'm going to do the other way, so you're going to dive in first with your head and then arch back. So now standing on your hands and knees, we're going to do cats, and so you're going to arch up and then down like a cat basically. And I'm going to do that 8 times and then another 8 times. And now you're going to do circles with your back, so I'm going to do 4 to one side and then 4 to the other side. So now start in child's pose and stretch out into seal and you're going to look up and you're going to stretch your back. 
So a helpful tip would be to keep your hands closer to your body to stretch better and if you're a beginner I could recommend you to open your feet apart a little bit because keeping your feet together is going to be harder and then return it back into child's pose. So now we're going to stretch out into seal again, but this time we're going to bend our knees and you're going to try and touch your head with your toes. And again, you can also open your knees apart because keeping your knees together will be harder. Now stay in child's pose to relax your back. Now stretch into seal, keeping your feet apart and lift up your right hand, look back and you're going to pulse back 10 times and then change your hand. And once again, return into child's pose to relax your back. Now we're going to do circles with our wrists to warm up our hands and you can also stand on your knees like this to stretch your wrists. Now we're going to do the crab and if you can, walk your hands closer to your feet if you already know how to do the crab. If you don't know how to do the crab, I have a video on that so be sure to check it out. And like I said, if you know how to do the crab, you can also try pushing your hips up to stretch better. And if you're new to doing this, just hold it for 3 seconds or for as long as you can and then relax and do it again. Now to relax your back, you can do this by rocking back and forth by holding your knees. Or you can do this by putting your knees behind your shoulders and then stretch to one side and then to the other side to relax your back. So I like to end my warm up by doing some kind of muscle strengthening exercises and if you want you can check out my video on muscle strengthening exercises and here are just some of them that you can do for example like sit ups and you can also do some flutter kicks like this and the plank. And finally you are ready so just stretch out and relax. So that was my warm up routine for beginners edition video. So you can hold these stretches for as long as you can hold them for. If you can only hold it for 3 seconds or 5 seconds that's totally fine. Don't worry because when you're a beginner you're still learning and your body's not used to this yet so that's why you have to do it slowly and be careful not to push so much that you will enjoy yourself so if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe you can hit the button right over here to subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you next time Beginner, so this is a beginner's warm up. So this is a beginner's warm. <laughs>